WF. I declare this Independence Day. Buff Bagwell, your very first winner, our inaugural XWF telecast here from Universal Studios. Things are just getting started. Welcome, fans, to another week of XWF action. We're at ringside here at Universal Studios in Florida. Tony Schiavone, the one and only King Jerry Lawler, along with the beautiful kitten once again. <laughs> well, King, last week on this program, the Nasty Boys returned for the first time in four years, and they were upset by the Shane Twins. Now, wait this a minute, wait a minute. I don't know if that was an upset or not. They've been crying. Nasty Boys have been complaining all week long. Let's give the devil the news. The Shane Twins were pretty tough. They beat the Nasty Boys. You're right. They beat the Nasty Boys. And this week, the Nasty Boys have asked for a rematch. Quack, and they're <laughs> They're going to have their rematch this week on the program. Well, we'll see what happens. Now, what's going to happen if the Shane Twins win again? <laughs> you think it could happen? It could happen. Oh, yes, it could. It could happen. It's all a part of XWF in your face as we go to our ring announcer, David Penzer. Introducing three number one in this tag team match. First, the Lesson of the Six of Mexico, Kumitsu Guerrilla. He's 14 partner from Kiowa, Mexico. Process. Two of the great cruiserweights, two of the great Mexican stars. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponent, first, Fondardo Puerto Rico, Ray Gonzalez. This time, the partner from San Diego, California. Here comes Tony and young Ray Gonzalez, the great Puerto Rican star who we heard so much about here in the XWF. Yeah, yeah, where my dogs at? Where they at? Here's the dog. Yeah, 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 let me speak on this. Orale! Arriba la raza! Yo, everybody know the XWF and Ray Gonzalez on Bowdy Bowdy then. Well, regardless of what you think of Conan, and, uh, he certainly has a, a very, very big fan base out there. And here's our tag team opening bout this week. And our second week of XWF action from the XWF studios in Orlando, Florida, and Universal. This should be a great matchup. This should be fast and furious. High flying, action all over the place. And let's see what Conan likes to do, King, because he likes to he likes to slow things down sometimes, ground these high flyers. And he's capable of doing that too. Kevin Christian, the referee, with a warning. Oh. And hits it for takeover. Spinning through with an arm drag takedown. And another one. Oh, Conan is quick to kick the boot. He said he liked to ground the high flyers. He's hanging right with Psychosis. Oh, he's sitting the pace of what he's doing. And what he's doing, you're right. And that tag and Ray Gonzalez will make his way in. A lot of fire, a lot of vigor, a lot of tenacity. And Juventud Guerrero gets to exchange in. And <laughs> got, got him down that time, King, and then hit him on the back. Gonzalez oh. caught him in the corner. Oh. Looking like a vertical suplex to stop all of that. One, two. And the referee says two, and that's all. <laughs> Boy, what a debut program we had a week ago, King. In the back, running over Conan with psychosis. Conan Hubertude, tag team partners, many years. What about last week, the introduction of our new, oh, oh that's gotta hurt. Our new CEO, oh man, the lovely Rena Mero. She well, is she, gorgeous. She is gorgeous. She looked wonderful last our, our, week. Our commission leaves a lot to desire. Well, I mean, he's not as pretty as she is. Watch. But nonetheless, Roddy Piper, very effective. And the man who faced the run of that a week ago was one Bobby the Brain Enid. Yeah, well, you know, we would expect Roddy Roddy Piper is going to be a hands on commissioner, and he was last week. He put his hands on. What's it? One, two. Complaining going on with the referee here from Hoopington Guerrero as Conan had got in. And now Ray Gonzalez, Hoopington, remain the ring. Opening bout, it's tag team action. Here in the XWF. Backhand chop. Gonzalez trying to stay in this thing now. Holds the ropes. Runs over. Psychosis. 
tackle for a loop that time. Completely for a loop. Big clothesline. Watch it. You can see that coming. Enziguri kick in the side of the head. Tag and the K-Dog is in. Oh, look at this. Oh, go away slam. Tilt the world. Yep. In oh. oh. Ahead about enough of this high flying foolishness as far as he's concerned. He's gonna keep hooving, two and side coaches down. He and Gonzalez in the ring together. What the? Follow that if you can. Look out! Oh, double team. Gonzalez and Conan working well together. Cover. Referee down, and I know, and a save. Ah. Baseball slide drop kick that time from Psychosis. Here's a double team. Oh, in the knee. Pretty good strategy here, and a pick up it. Oh, the Hoovy driver. Now what? Hoovy driver, and that's usually the prelude of the 450 splash. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow. In the midst of it, and Conan with the stops to that. Look out. Outside, psychosis. Inside, Ray Gonzalez, coming one, two, three. right in the midst of a 450 splash. Your winners are opening up this week on the XWF, Conan and Ray Gonzalez. And we're coming back with more after this. XWF. That's your face. Check out the hot XWF CEO and Don Marie. I want to introduce to you XWF CEO. Get ready. Here is Rena. Uh, and she's got the muscle with her this week here, King. All those muscles? Well, I mean, I mean behind her. Oh, behind her. I got you. I, I mean, I mean behind her. Take a look at, I don't know what to look at here. I, well, I gotta look at Rita. Holy smokes. Is there any company on earth that has a better look at CEO? It is great None. to see you. What is the meaning of all of this? Is this your security? Yes, it is. First of all, I just wanted to come out here tonight and thank everyone for their efforts and helping to make the XWF's inaugural special such an unforgettable occasion. Oh, it was that. Yes, it was. You did your part too. <laughs> if we all continue to work together, we can take the XWF and wrestling to a whole new level. Yeah. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined that everything would click right into place so well. What do you say, Gene? Well, I have to agree with you uh, totally there. Well, not quite. I think that the new commissioner probably has overstepped his power. Oh, there you go. Would you not agree with that? I do. Are you questioning my decision, Gene? Uh-oh. Well, no, wait a minute. I'm not questioning your decision. You can overstep the power. Questioning her authority, her decision making. Why are you questioning this lovely lady at all? I, I would never question her. I'm questioning you because it appeared to me that you took matters into your own hands, Mr. Piper. I've took many things into my own hands. <laughs> but you haven't been one of them yet. But it. 
Uh, now, Commissioner Roddy, when I asked you if you would like to assume the office of commissioner, you said that you would be impartial and consistent. You said that your wrestling days were behind you and that you would be content just making matches. What he said, now, I, I have to ask you, is there maybe still a fire for action burning under that kilt? What did she say? constant twitch, okay? There ain't a fire. There's a forest burning under here, baby. I'll tell you, I'm the kind of guy, you know, I love you. I love you, and I would do anything for you. You're the kind of lady to me. Hey, 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 wait, wait a minute. Look at this. Okay, Gene, I stand behind uh -oh, my look decision. Out. You see, I stand behind you at all times. Vampiro, wait a minute. This man known throughout the world, what are... Your eyes are up there. I've come here tonight, Madam Commissioner, Mr. Piper, on behalf of all the new young guys in the back, to say thank you very much. Thank you for your confidence in our abilities. Because you have given us a shot where no one else would, no one else would take a chance on us. And for our appreciation, we're going to give you 110%, no, 150, no, 350% every night. I like the percentages. That's a good percentage to have. Just to show you that the XWF is the place to be seen. Uh, that's what the XWF's all about. Well, you're very welcome, Dan Perro. And this reminds me of a story that I once heard about you, of when you were 15 years old and you would stand outside the LA Sports Arena with your bag in your hand, just waiting for someone to give you that opportunity. Well, this is your opportunity. And I mention this, and I mention this only because I have seen another young man who displays the same determination and desire, Josh. The young man's name is Josh from MTV's Tough Enough. Good one. So what do you say, Commissioner? Do you have room on the roster for Josh? I can make your dreams come true. I can, I will do anything that you want me to do. If you got it for Josh, I got it for you. <laughs> well, as I can see, I've uh, definitely pointed the right commissioner. <laughs> Then, let's do this. I'll go, I'll make the match. Josh is good enough for the XWF because these guys like this is what we need. Guys like this right here. And people like you. Well, it seems like everybody is on the same page. The CEO and the commissioner right here in the XWF. Don't go away, more to come. Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Vito from Staten Island, New York, and I'm the toughest in my neighborhood. And over here in the XWF, I want to fight the toughest. And that's what I'm going to get in your face. Piper is our commissioner. Rita Mero, of course, is the lady in charge. And they seem to see eye to eye at times. That is when Piper is not looking down and he's looking in the eyes. Yeah, you can always find Piper's eyes in uh, Rena's cleavage. <laughs> what do we have here? Hey, King C. 
Simon has a problem with you. With me? You know, I'm not deaf. I heard about how you trashed Dawn Marie last week. I don't think I don't think I said anything that was not true, did I? It's obvious because you never attended class when you're school, so you certainly don't know what it is. This is class. High or low? <laughs> you know what's funny? What's funny is you're out here and you're disrespecting. <laughs> I think the fans seem to know it better than uh, he does. I, I think the fans agree with you. You're out here, and you're calling her trash. Yet you're hanging out with that dog. Introducing first, 
making his way to the ring, accompanied by the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart. He stands six foot ten inches tall and weighs 340 pounds. This is truly one of the biggest men in the XWF. You know, put a cap on this man. I guess the uh, some of the young guys will think before they make challenges out here anymore. Who is dwarfed by the metal side of Jimmy Hart's new man, Hale? Hey, how about what Bobby the Brain Heenan was talking about? He's a sports agent now. Who in the world is he have his eye on? There's a lot of great talent out here in the XWF. You got that right, but right now all eyes are on Hale. This guy is truly impressive. Did you see that? He's talking about over 300 pounds, sending knuckles from the turnbuckles hard to the mat. He yeah. knuckles across the ring like he was just like a, I don't know what, sack of feathers. Now look at this. Look at this one. Shoulder breaker. There has been absolutely no one to come close to what Hale has been able to put in the ring. Oh. He drops the leg. He makes a cover. And this one is the net. Well, that's just sort of a self-serving type thing. Hart likes to put the exclamation point on the end of these matches. Didn't need to this big guy. Actually, he'll probably take that little piece of video clip and just edit everything else out that he's picking for show that to his kids or something like that later on. Now, what part of the how tough he is. Now, he and Doug Gellinger, director of security, are getting into it. Part of getting it with everybody. We'll be back on the XWF. The XWF. The new style and with the best cruiserweights in the world. The only thing they're lacking is style. And when I show them that, I'll be leaving with the cruiserweight fail. You know, Nobs, yeah. with the XWF, we oh, tried man. to cover all the bases. You oh, know, yeah. we had all the international superstars with us. We had the superstars from Japan over here. We had a, a lot of the Lucha Libertadores from, yes. from over in Mexico City. Also, we had Carlos Colon oh, yeah, from Puerto awesome. Rico, man, from Germany, just, just all over. You know, it's gonna be a, a, a great dream come true for Jimmy, us. Jimmy, you know what, though? Everybody gave their all. They gave the sweat, blood, and tears to the fans. Everybody wanted to make this thing work. No more prima donnas. Everybody was on time to Universal Studios. That was a first, you know? And then we had feuds brewing, like Roddy Piper and Rena. Yeah, they were getting it pretty hot and heavy. I mean, everything was starting to crank up. We were getting it, you know, all together. We had the best tag teams ever. I mean, the Nasty Boys, the Road Warriors, Johnny Grunge, and the late, great Rocco Rock. I mean, we had a lot of stuff going on, Jimmy. Hey, but what about this next match? Johnny B. Bad oh, yeah. comes out of retirement just for the XWF, and he faces the Wiggle Man, Norman Smiley. Oh, hey, yeah. Check this out. Check it out. I can't believe it. It must be a conspiracy or something. What's that, man? Oh, I'm not wrestling on the show tonight either. I'm not on that board myself. Well, you shouldn't worry about it, you idiot. The spectacle you made yourself last time. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Idiot, idiot. Yeah, no, 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 Listen, you are a nice guy. You're too nice. I can get you matches, but you gotta be tough like this guy. You gotta have paws like this guy. Look at this guy. No heart. No care for nobody. You gotta be tough. You're a sweet kid, but you gotta get in there. You gotta fight. This guy's tougher than now. Doesn't matter what you do to him. He's the toughest guy I know. So I'll get you one more match. Give you one more try. Yeah. But get tough. Get up there. Go for it. You get tough. Ring up. Ring up.
And now he's back in the ring as part of the XWF. Next week, Josh Matthews will get his debut, and he will go up against Horace, who maybe will fare better than he fared last week against the British Storm. And that's still to come on the XWF in a week. And right now, Stephen Norman is trying to take apart a bad man, Johnny B. Bad. Cindy Norman in, drives him down. Wow. Whoa! Officially the big wiggle, is it? No. Like the little wiggle? That's kind of the little wiggle. The little wiggle. I think the big wiggle, he's got to kind of position himself in a different way. Is that when he spanks you too? Yes, it is. <laughs> Spank him good. <laughs> Into a hammer lock. Side headlock here by Johnny B. A lot of charisma in that ring on both ends. Get that right. Johnny B. Bad and Norman Smiley. Over the top, Bad. Smiley down. Block. Good move and a great lesson for the screen. And don't forget, still to come, our feature bout, Nasty Boys return bout against the Sheen Twins this week here on the XWF. They've already seen a win by Jerry the King Lawler defending the honor of the gorgeous kitten here. He stays with us, toys right with us each and every week here at ringside. You gotta love the kitten. Yes, you do. Don't you love it when kittens like to play with puppies? <laughs> I don't have a comment on that. What? Well, into the corner, it's gonna be bad, it's hard. Norman's got him on. <laughs> Wind up slam that time. He might be seeing the real deal now. He might be talking with a big winner. <laughs> He's looking around. Oh, he says not time yet. No, uh, calling out of the fans who responded. <laughs> gotta be bad, gets a uh, back elbow. Oh, and gets run over by a running lariat by Norman Smiley. Who makes a cover of Johnny B. Bad? No. I want Johnny B. Bad to mount a big offense here. I want to hear Norman scream. We had a big match he was in last week. Not one scream. Not one scream. Not even a little whip. No one must have cranked up on him. See what can happen here this week. Johnny B. Bad will be a big win for him in his debut in many, many, many years in pro wrestling to come back here and get a win in his debut on the XWF. And we've had a great time the last couple of weeks. So glad you could be with us. Foot to the face by screaming Norman. Yeah. Well, Norman doesn't have anything left to follow up that with. Got a scream. One scream. You need to go to a scary movie with him. <laughs> You're not kidding. Uh oh. He could, he could. Oh man. In Berlin. And then drops him down. One, two. Pretty good pinning combination too at the watch forearm across the face. Now has him tied up, submission hold. Kind of a great mind type maneuver here, pulling back on the shoulder and the arm. Johnny B. Bad. He may stop screaming. You want to hear what Johnny B. Bad screamed like. You just want to hear somebody scream. Yeah, how about it, kid? Well, maybe later. <laughs> Undercut to the jaw. And no sir. Johnny B. Bad held on, got him up. Fireman's carry pickup. Oh, down. Oh, One, two, three. He's not conscious. It's all over. Ladies and gentlemen, you win our Johnny B. Bad. It really was a comeback and a win for Johnny B. Bad on the XWF. Set last week, King, for these two young men. They're 1-0 in the XWF. And now they get their return match. Who knobs and sags the Nasty Boys. I'm going to tell hey, you ladies nasty and gentlemen, their opponent. The Nasty Boys. <laughs> well, I wouldn't doubt a bit if they're not ashamed to show their face after last week. But I, what's going on? I've got the good way for this rematch. 
Yeah, that's what they talked about. I mean, after being apart for four years, they get a rematch, they lose. But I guess maybe the ball was a fluke to the Shane Twins, but there's no nasty boys here. No nasty boys. Play the music one more. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, the thought it's not the nasty boys. Well, that's certainly not the nasty boys. No, it's not. We're talking about the Red Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, making their way towards the ring. From Chicago, hot animal. Go, go. going to the Shane Twins' mind right now. I mean, the last week had to be the biggest win in their career, and now, a week later, they got to go in against Hawk and Animal. One of the most dumb, oh, dominating tag teams ever. Okay, what's going to be going through the Shane, Shane Twins' mind in about two minutes, probably the Road Warriors' fist. So here it is. That's Todd. Shane in the ring against Road Warrior Animal. Animal with 300 solid pounds. One of the toughest, strongest men ever to get in the ring. And that mare down. Hey, I just thought of something. And what was that? What happened if the Shane Twins beat the Road Warriors? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Dan. No, I'm serious. I mean, you know, it could happen. Oh, well, maybe it could happen. I don't know, but anything can happen. Well, I would that would be the hottest thing going in the, in the I would agree with that, that it would be, uh, they would be hot properties, but uh, certainly the Road Warriors. Well, I don't know, let's see what happens. Well, let's let's face it, these Shane Twins, they're not, they're not backing up. Ow. Well, maybe a little bit backing up. Road Warrior Hawk, Todd Shane in, there's not been an exchange on the Shane Twins side. You know, that's really impressive to see a guy as big as Hawk throw a drop kick like that with somebody right in the teeth. He's always been one of the most impressive big men you'll ever find. In pro wrestling, the fans chanting for the Road Warriors here, and now a pickup. Not Shane, knocks him down. Can't get any further in though. I'm, I'm impressed with the Shane twins. Well, they don't back down. King, you're right. And they're big guys. Well, they telegraphed that though. And now Road Warrior Hawk puts the brakes on. Hangman's noose. He's doing that brick. Might do it right there. Only a two count. Todd Shane has stayed in this match the entire time. And they were supposed to. Oh, look at this. Oh, he went hit first. Wow, oh, did he ever? Hit first. And Mike Shane over now to try to pick up the pieces here. Throwing him back in. Remember, they were supposed to go against the Nasty Boys, who wanted this rematch. Where the Nasty Boys are, we have no idea. Well, what could have happened, King? They well, flight late? I don't know. Our travel plans cover one, two. Anything can happen, or they, like I said, could just be embarrassed. But I'll tell you what, you got nothing to be embarrassed by losing to these guys. They're, like I said, mighty impressive again here today. Yeah, but it's not like the nasty boys to, you know, to be embarrassed enough not to show up. I mean, that, to me, that's not knobs to sag. You're yeah. right. Their time's up. There's, there's something wrong. Side of the head right now. Mike Shane's got all he wants. The Road Warrior Hawk right here. Manhandling Hawk. You want to change your bet? Huh? You want to no. go with the Saints win? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> Both men go down on a collision. And Mickey J with a mandatory kick with both wrestlers. The fans are behind the Road Warriors here, but you're right, King. The Shane Twin to give them all tag is made. I'll tell you what, I think that one Shane Twin just got a broken nose. I believe you're right. He's back in again. An animal runs over him like a freight train. Wow. Now Animal's got to contend with both of the Shane Twins. That brings Hawk in. Referee cut him off. And then he went to Double play run. Uh-oh. You're kidding me. They're going to go for the top rope. Okay. Whoa, I can't believe he got the Shane Twins out. Look out, he got him. Stand 
The referee pulled out by the Nasty Boys and he's thrown it away. Now the Nasty Boys retreating just as quickly as they came here. What is no match, says Mickey J. And it was a good match. A very competitive match. I think the Nasty Boys just... between the Rug Warriors, Gay Twins. Still more to come this week on the XWF. The Road Warriors and the XWF, what a run. Superfly Jimmy Snooker. This is Snooker Doom. And we're here in the XWF, in your face. Ooh, ooh, ooh. seems from this distance to be okay. Side headlock. And he goes on the bump and then, then spills up to the ring. You're gonna get fired again, boy! Oh, you hear that? You talked about it, King. The egos. Buff wrestling with a lot of jewelry on today. Too. Yeah, he always does. You know what? He needs to leave Heenan alone and worry about Hennig. If you take your focus away from a guy like Kurt Hennig, he'll come back and haunt you the match. Oh. Oh. Come back. To, look at, look at, look at, look at. He's using the, he's using that jewelry, right? Yes, he right is. Right now. And that's what happens. That stuff will come back to haunt you. Always wonder when guys wore hoop earrings in the, in the ring, like someone just didn't rip a the ear Look out! I wrestled Buck Bagwell in Trinidad, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Did you really? And I didn't do it intentionally. But it's uh, one of my fingers got caught in his earring and ripped it right through his earlobe. Wow. He had to have it re-pierced. Uh oh, watch it. Oh! Oh, that was that was vintage Kurt Hennig right there. Just walk around the ring and up. Can stop the other guy's momentum. Get him to come after you and do something like that. And now Hennig, with all that, has the advantage here. You got, you got Kurt Henning. I mean, this guy's had such an illustrious career. One of the best wrestlers ever. And, and, and a smart guy, too. I mean, you know, he's like, he all the knowledge that he gained from his father, Larry the Axe. And then you add Bobby the Brain Heenan to that mix. A formidable tag team here. Not, not a tag team, but a formidable duo. Well, what you're seeing right now is, in, a, in essence, a tag team. See? Yeah, in, in essence, a tag team. He's got the referee's attention. 
Kurt Hennig breaks the rules on the other side. Into the rip cage goes Hennig. Trying to get to his feet, but Bagwell and Hennig just hammers Bagwell in the back of the head, and now Bagwell cannot even get to his feet. Watch the brain. Okay. Moving into position. Uh-oh. Bagwell. No. The ref better at it. Yeah, the ref for yeah, the ref flying. Into the ropes, and Bagwell. Abdominal stretch here, Hennig reaching for the ropes of the referee in good position to thwart that. Reaching again, he's got the ropes, he's got added leverage, and finally Slick Johnson sees it and calls for the break of the ropes. A surprising call for the break of the move. Yeah. Okay, right. we get a break, and meanwhile, ooh. Hennig right now is just dominating this matchup. And not many people have been able to say that against Buck Bagwell. Yeah, but you know, Henning got the momentum. He gained the upper hand thanks to Bobby Heenan. To Bobby Heenan. Agent extraordinaire. Uh-oh. Bagwell right now is a sitting duck. For Heenan and... Uh, Heenan still has that talent. He blues. He's got the same talent as the one. I'll never forget that long as I live. Oh, watch this. Heenan screen, turn him, turn him, and trying to get him into a Boston Crab, and he pretty much has him there, yes. Now sitting deep on the small, the lower back. You know, that's a hold you don't see used that often anymore. It used to be a devastating, still a devastating hold. You put a lot of pressure. You can win a match with that hold, but guys just don't use it much anymore. Yeah, and you wonder why. You're exactly right. It, it, it's very it's painful. Very <laughs> painful. Take it from me. Uh-oh. This is painful, too. Jawbreaker. Here comes Buck Bagwell still trying to regain his composure, feeling the effects of that Boston Crab. Hennig's reeling, Hennig's back to the corner. Here comes Buff Bagwell, mounting a comeback here. Hennig is down again. Buff will make a cover. One, two, and Hennig kicks out. I think Buck feels like he's got the momentum. He feels like he can end this thing. He wants to do the Buck blockbuster here, King, but can he get in position now? Wait a minute. The brain, the brain, the brain, the brain was up. He threw him off. Wait a minute. I, I didn't see the, what did the brain do? I didn't see he that. He did the head and clicks and it's up. AJ Styles and Kid Cash oh, and all yeah. the young guns. Oh, yeah. But you know what? We wanted to do a little something different in the XWL. We wanted to yeah. have the past, the present, the future. We wanted to build a great foundation for all the great wrestling fans out there. Well, Jimmy, thank you guys for tuning in to episode two. But get ready for the special bonus DVD. The immortal Hulk Hogan, our good friend and buddy, against the late, great Kurt Henning. A never-before-seen match, and you guys get it. So get ready to put that DVD in now. You're going to see some great action. Stay tuned.